So we use 10 digits to represent numbers. So we can say that our number system is base 10. That means that when you have 10 of something, you move to the next place value column along, or putting it a different way, that each place value is 10 times larger than the place value before it. With the Riggles Fordian number system, I have five symbols, which means that I have a base five number system. That means that when I have five of something, I move to the next place value column along. So each place value is five times larger than the place value before it. So rather than units, tens and hundreds, I have units, fives and twenty fives. Now we know that after hundreds we have thousands, ten thousands and so on. But what is the next place value after 25s in the Riggles Fordian number system? Well, because my number system uses five symbols, each place value is five times larger than the one before it, so we can work out 25 times 5. That gives us 125, so our fourth place value column is the 125s. So how can we work out what we have next? We need to work out 125 times 5. So that means our next place value represents multiples of 625. So how is Riggles Fordian place value similar to and different from normal place value? Well, the place values represent different quantities, but just as with our place value system, we can keep going along the place values by multiplying by 10, in the Riggles Fordian number system, we can go along the place values by multiplying by 5. So here, we have our Riggles Fordian place value at the top and our normal place value at the bottom. So we have units 5s and then we have 25s because 5 times 5 is 25. Then we have 125s because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Then we have 625s because 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is 625. So that's place values with base 5. But though what the place values represent is different, it's a similar idea to what we do with our normal base 10 system. We have units, then tens, then hundreds, because 10 times 10 is 100, then thousands, because 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000, then 10 thousands, because 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 10,000. So we can start to think about place values in a different way. Rather than thinking of numbers, let's think of powers. So for 25 or 5 times 5, we can say 5 squared, that's 5 times itself. Then for 125, or 5 times 5 times 5, we can say 5 cubed. And for 625, or 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, we can say 5 to the power of 4. You might not have seen to the power of 4 before, but you can probably work out what it means. Well, notice that we can do the same with base 10. Rather than writing hundreds as our place value heading, we could write 10 squares, then instead of thousands, we could have 10 cubes, then instead of 10 thousands, we could have 10 to the power of fours. One other thing you'll learn about powers is that any number to the power of 1 is just itself, so we can have 5 to the power of 1 and 10 to the power of 1 for our second place value columns. Another thing you'll learn is that any number to the power of 0 is 1, so we can have 5 to the power of 0 
and 10 to the power of 0 instead of our units. And if you understand this, you'll understand place value outside of base 10. So if we had base 7, so if we only use 7 digits or 7 symbols, we would do the same thing. Our first column will be units, then our second column will be 7s, our third column will be 49s because 7 times 7 is 49, our fourth column will be 343s because 7 times 7 times 7 is 343, and our fifth column will be 2401s because 7 to the power of 4 is 2401. So if you know this, it's not too difficult to invent your own number system. And if you understand this, that means that you properly understand how numbers work, something you're not usually taught in schools.